am Marvin Hamilton and this is my OMG interview. <sighs> okay, I am a um, uh, budding photographer, um, specialized in digital art, a bit of avant-garde and conceptualized photography. Um, I've been doing photography going on two years and the intention is to add a different flavor to photography within China and Tobago and by extension the region. Most of my um, my photo, photo, my shots that I will do will be based on the um, it, it's based on concept. I, I try not to repeat anything that is already out there. Um, for example, if this I come into this room here, the first thing that comes to mind is the first thing that will be eliminated from the, the concept, right? Um, I think there are a lot of um, potential for the industry to grow but we are basically staying in our comfort zone and I try to come out of that comfort zone by you know whatever comes to mind you know you do it not, nothing is impossible where photography is concerned I am um, I honestly had no clue no idea that I would have been involved in photography I would have been asked by a friend of mine um, to do a fashion shoot for her in 2016 when her photographer was unavailable. At the time I started doing regular fashion and I realized, you know what, there are so many fashion photographers locally and to, get in, to fit into that circle would have been really difficult, especially me being a newbie on the scene. So, I am um, a friend of mine, Kion, had given me a challenge to, um, to do on meditation. And my first piece I did would have been um, I utilized powder in the, in the shoots with um, a book with a dark grungy type of type photo, photo where it received um, you know positive re reviews and feedback and from there is where I focus more on being artistic rather than just being another photographer. Locally, I do have a lot of respect for Sancho Francisco. He um he's known to be a fashion photographer, right? Um, his, his what I look at his, what I look at mostly is his style of lighting. I think um he has a great understanding for light. Abroad, I follow Benjamin Von Wong. He now focuses on on environment and um global issues, as well as line and stuff. He's a German photo fashion photographer with a, a a different edge. Never doubt my never doubt yourself. Sorry, um, I cut it out myself. So that's it. I think the biggest lesson. Oh, okay. The biggest lesson I have learned to date is not doubting myself. Um, whatever you know, whatever comes to mind, you need setback I will have is if it is I don't fall upon it by putting action into it so yeah we as photographers need to really and truly get out of the comfort zone because when it is you look at images outside there right, the creative industry outside we are we have the same equipment that they have the only thing that limiting us is our um, ability to, to really think and think outside of the box as long as we do that I believe and I know that for sure just as music has evolved, fashion has evolved, so too with the photo um photography industry evolve. You know I have um few close people that I work with right and who are willing to collaborate with, with me right and see the, the bigger picture. Not all the time they are able to see it but in terms of hearing of hearing from it and one of them is Dara Phillips. I recently did a piece with her um, title the matrimony between fashion and folklore. This piece would have been, you know, it, it came from scratch. You know, we include a, a skull in the shoot. She she made a sculpture of a headpiece. Uh, we had a designer who did the, the 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 fashion aspect of it with the wedding dress, and we merged that together. And it won um, third place in the Trinidad Tobago Photographic Society competition last week Tuesday. All right. If we have more photographers, you know, coming on board and not isolating themselves in their own circle, then I think the more collaboration we have is the more creative 
pieces we could be pushing out of China to go and show the world what it is we have to offer. Um, the same way it happens in music and in, 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 in fashion, as I said before, is the same way, you know, the photography could grow past what it is at the moment because it's not, we should, should just limit it to, to just urban photography, bikini. You know, it is more than, more than that. The best thing for me is that whenever somebody see, anybody see any of my images, they are taking them back like, wow, that was done locally here. And that says something to me is that, that I am putting in the work and I am hopeful that, you know, I can do it with much more um, photographers, designers, models, you know, and I'm using person like that, right? like, you can't go wrong. Um, I, my OMG moment would have been last week Tuesday. The photo that came first is the photo that a couple photographers would have um, bashed me on because I guess if one have their own style and they didn't, they didn't recognize my style at the moment. That shot was taken a year ago and it went first place in digital art photography this year. So when I heard, you know, power meditation came first, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I want to thank you all for taking your time to um, tune into this OMG interview. You can check out my work on Facebook at MH Photographian as well as Instagram image photo and video. My contact is 7761258. Yeah, come and do something dope and something awesome. Bye.